Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Physics 121 uh, concept session on calculating instantaneous velocity. My name is Nathan Martin, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So this problem, we're given the function below gives the displacement of a particle at time t in seconds. Find a function for the instantaneous velocity. Also, compute the instantaneous velocity at five seconds. So instantaneous velocity, all it is, is the derivative of your displacement function. So velocity is equal to the derivative with respect to time of the displacement s of t, right? So this would be the derivative with respect to time of t squared minus 5t plus 2. So applying the derivative, if you remember back to your calc 101, right? The derivative of t squared, you'd use the uh, power rule, right? t squared, so the derivative of that would be a 2t. And then the derivative of negative 5t, again, you'd use your power rule and realize that's a negative 5. And then the derivative of a constant with respect to t would be 0. So we're not going to include that. So that right there would be your function for the velocity at any given time. Now, we also want to uh, compute the instantaneous velocity at t is equal to 5 seconds. Right? So the velocity at time t is equal to 5, all we do is just plug in a 5 for t. So 2 times 5 minus 5. So the velocity at 5 seconds, that's 10 minus 5. Therefore, the velocity at 5 seconds is e equal to 5 meters per second. So, moral of the story, instantaneous velocity is just the derivative of your displacement function with respect to time. Let's clear all that up. Awesome. So, if you want more information on our tutoring services, visit this website, tutoring.asu.edu. Uh, there you can find more information on our hours of operation, any uh, review sessions we're holding, and all that good stuff. And then if you want to view more videos such as the one you're watching now, visit this link down here. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.